Uh, I, my pet peeve with directors is they don't know how to direct, and it's your first project, but give the actor something. Like, your character just was in a war, and now he's missing a leg or something. Not like, I've been on sets where it's like, can you act not so wooden? <laughs> <laughs> can you do that different? <laughs> give your actors something to work with. You don't want to just be like, that was bad, you were good. <laughs> Thank you. Also, organization. When you're in a casting and you're casting for your actors and your actor walks into audition and you have no idea what you're doing and you're disorganized, you're already projecting that. And the actor's going to be like, uh, maybe I don't want to work for free for three months all my weekends and not get paid. These guys don't know what they're doing, but if you walk in and the director's like, here's the script, or you give them the script ahead of time, and they're there for the audition, and you present yourself professionally, your production right off that bat is like you're setting the tone for the whole thing. So it's very important for the director to be the general of your army. Oh, um, so you're hearing, once again, we appreciate the organization and to work on the food. Uh, and to brag about Sean, he always asks, does anyone have a specific diet? Because some people are vegetarian, some people are, you know, and of course the costumes, it, especially since you want hot chicks that can act, you know, they're not going to want to eat anything but like a salad or anything, because they're like, what do you mean you want me on set in five minutes? Let's just eat like three slices of pizza. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I have like a little food baby. <laughs> and another thing, <laughs> and, and another thing, um, about treating actors with respect and getting them together beforehand, especially if you have intimate scenes, like you want your actors to kiss or there's, God forbid, nudity in it. You know, you have to make your actors so comfortable with that. If you need to wipe everyone from the set for an intimate scene, it's just the director and the camera guy, make those people feel comfortable because you are like, you hear these stories about girls like, oh, I just got off the airplane, next thing you know, you know, but they pick me up in the car, I drive over, and I'm making, doing a love scene with some guy I never met before. <laughs> you want it to be a little bit more comfortable than that. <laughs> Hopefully. Um, <clears throat> worst horror story, um, as you know, I come from stunts, and I had a perfect stunt record of not ever hurting my stunt cohort or whoever I was working with, and a lot of the times directors will just get people who never did this sort of thing before, don't rehearse it enough beforehand, and wait till the last shot of the day to get the big stunt. So I was wearing this giant hair wig thing, and I'm, I come from where you just do the same punch over and over in the same amount of space. The girl I was working with has never done this before. And her face wound up connecting with my fist, and I broke her nose. Oh, On a shot that was like really big for that shot. But you know, lucky for her, she went crack and finished the scene. Please rehearse your people. <laughs> did, did they use the shot? What? Did, did they use the shot? We got the shot. <laughs> we got the shot because the actor will do anything. But she went home with the crack nose, and she's like a European pop star. Good thing her voice wasn't effective, but it, it was like, 